How's it going? Fox back again for sound design tutorials. This is Falcon Quick Tip number two. This also comes from a problem I incurred when I was messing around with Falcon during the live stream. Um, it was trying to find a way to reverse samples inside the sample oscillator. Or once you've mapped uh, a big sample, like a break, like I did in my uh, stream the other day, chopped it to multi samples, and then trying to just reverse one of them. I was having problems, uh, I was choosing the reverse option inside the click down window with a right click and it was changing the whole thing but got in touch with the guys over at Falcon they uh, let me know how to do it so this is going to show you so if I create a sample template key group if I delete the sample oscillator and bring in a slice this is what I was doing in the live stream the other day I had a break in there we'll use this one quickly I had that break in there, what I did in the live stream is I pressed the map button that takes each individual slice, uh, assigns it to its own key group and uh, <clears throat> yeah so you've got all of them on individual to play, do whatever you want with, play them into your sequence so it turns it into a really really good sampler like battery every single key group you can apply different effects and stuff like that where I was coming into problems was when I was trying to reverse individual samples let's take this one here this snare what I was doing is I was right clicking pressing reverse and for reasons been out to me that reverses every single slice in every single key group so as you can hear they're all reversed now if we undo that all I want to do is reverse that one snare, hover over it again. If you click on it inside the key group, the one that you want, it becomes highlighted. If you right click on it, it's this here. Change plane direction to reverse. You can see now, it's playing it from reverse. It's playing it from end to start. It doesn't show you it reversed in the window, but it does exactly what I wanted it to do. Kick. That snare's still forward that one is reversed as simple as that um, if we do redo reverse undo reverse if you want to get it back to how it was change plane direction to forward simple as that uh, it's an easy mistake to make I didn't look for the other options I was looking at these I'm used to these sort of options inside Ableton You've got crop, delete, normalize, all that, all the same sort of options inside Ableton. For some reason, these affect every single f slice or every single key group in one go. If you want to change the play direction of individual slices, you need to choose, uh, choose this one here. Change play direction to reverse. Simple as that. That was another Falcon quick tip. Um, plenty more to come when I keep discovering new little neat tips and tricks. Uh, thanks for watching, as always. Cheers.